Hello everyone, welcome back to the .NET office. In this video, we are going to discuss about the child route in Angular 15. In the previous video, where we have discussed about the router redirect and wildcard path in Angular 15. So let's understand the child route in Angular 15. So before understanding this one, let's go on the browser and see like currently what we can see when we uh, come to this application. So let's by default when we come to this application, we are coming on the student works and that uh, is coming by default on this page because we have implemented here like this uh, like the default page is the student component. That's why we are landing to this page. Now next thing like when I click on this student page, we can see the URL changing to the root directory then student if i click on the teacher it is teacher but what if when i click on the student i give a one button or the link here called contact us and when i click on this contact us it should navigate on like this contact us so basically like when i give something like this so it should navigate to the respective page so here you can see contact us is basically child page of this student such kind of the things we are going to implement here so base so that is basically like the contact us is the child of this student so that kind of the functionality we do using the child route now currently if i will redirect it will give us like that page is not found so let's try to implement such kind of the things so in the browser uh, in the visual studio code what i have done i have created a one component and that is the basically contact us so here you can see it is a contact us page and here it is saying contact us works now you know like how we create a contact already if you don't know you can see the comp like a component in angular 15 so basically to create the component we give the command called ng gc and the component name now to make it as a child what we have to do next is like since we want to create a but a link or button under the student so we have to implement here so for implementing that one what we have to do so here to make it child so we have to write the tilde that is the first thing and since we have to give it an array because a particular component can have the multiple children as well so that's why it's taken in the uh, array format now here it will be the same like we have to assign the path name i am giving the empty because first time i want to navigate to the student component only so that is the first thing like first time like when I click on um, when I go on the student page, I want to see the student things. Now, next thing I like uh, there, what I will see, I will see a link called contact us. If I will click on that contact us button, then where it should navigate, it should navigate to the contact us component. So that I have to do now to uh, show the link. What we have to do, we have to write the code in the basically. Uh, student page so let's go on the uh, student page and here we have to create to call the basically a uh, uh, like to uh, call that uh, page what we have to do link we have to give to call the contact page and here how we call, call a particular link and that is we do using the router link and then we give the path so here since we have to make this contact us as a child uh, component so there is a little change in that what is that we have to use dot slash and then we have to give the uh, path name whatever we have given now here if you will see in this app component dot html and here we are use not using dot because dot is basically recognizing as a like it is a child page now here what we have to do we are already having the student a path and the link here now let's go on the browser and see currently we are on the different page. so let's click on this student and we are not seeing the link let's go on the browser and see why we are facing this issue and here what we have to do we have to give first the name contact us let's go on the browser if you will go on the browser and if you will click uh, on the student you will see like uh, it is not showing the contact us page and see why it is not showing so let's go on the so here like uh, in previous uh, classes when we were learning about this template and all these things so we have changed the logic here so what we have to do we have to change the url path now let's go on the browser back 
and here you can see currently like a student works and here we can see the contact us page now you see on the link so if i click on this one contact us works and it is coming as in child here you can see if i will click on the teacher it is coming as expected and if i will go on the student it is student and when i click on the contact us it is in child of this student page so this is the way the child route works in the angular 15 so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you